what is good everybody welcome back to another youtube video i i think it's gonna be like my last rollout for this one um i appreciate you guys for the support uh, i've been trying to record all this stuff for you guys while i've been out of the country i don't want to miss anything i don't want to uh hold myself in a box and say oh i was out of town and i couldn't post like i can i can record for you guys and plan this out and schedule these posts so if you guys have been supporting me thank you guys so so much and when i get back we'll get that giveaway video in for you guys so here we go uh we have shonen games posted this and this video i think is a great way not to only discuss uh sparking zero but just anime games in general and why we don't really see manga content being really enforced or pushed as much as anime content so here's what hiroshi uh matsuyama hiroshi matsuyama uh president of uh capsule corporation uh two said about using manga and anime licensing hopefully this sheds some light on the sparking uh zero discussion so this pertains to naruto like he says but uh again this is actually good insight on the overall like anime games and how they they actually manage it so i wanted to highlight the story license is is the right to use the manga story even though uh kishimoto creates the manga shueisha would be the company to obtain the license to create something based on naruto manga they handle a lot of merchandise such as prints t-shirts calendars etc so they handle the manga kind of handles the i guess the kind of uh how do you say the actual tangible outlets like you know the prints and all that good stuff because it's more like physical stuff um the anime license as he says though uh the following companies must be approached shueisha uh, shueisha tv tokyo studio uh period and uh i think that's it so just right there off that the story and manga really are like kind of over everything you know what i'm saying so like shueisha's over everything but like manga is like first they're kind of like i guess the people that or not the people but the uh licenses that kind of take the most to get i guess because it's kind of source material it's pretty understandable like the manga the, i mean the anime is based off manga so it's like the manga is the base it's the foundation that has to be protected more than the, the anime um because animations can be stolen all the time and all that stuff through uh tv but manga and drawings and print is a little different um you to use the anime license following Ogara, you need an anime license to make other merchandise such as figures trading cards memo pads shampoo pajamas snacks and video games so it's a little different than the the tangible merchandise that you see from um story because anime addresses more uh i guess like i want to say the other half the more casual half of the fan base where that they just watch anime and don't really read manga and so stuff like snacks and video video games that is the, the most important thing that we need to emphasize here is video games this is the main reason probably why because anime licenses are prob i'm giving that this is what is giving to me that anime license seem to be more attainable than a manga license uh we would gain anime materials from studio piro and go back and forth asking them to check to see if the characters look great and need some work there here and there also we need to keep the same voice actors as in the anime this is actually good insight for me because i was always wondering why dang they, they really just be calling these people every yeah so they work for a, this company and they literally are in charge of making sure that the anime adheres to uh or that not the anime but the uh whatever trading cards whatever video game you're making adheres to what uh th they've done in the anime the manga, however, is different, obviously, because they don't, they don't deal with voice actors or anything. So it's a little bit different. So I think this is just giving the black and white picture of why getting an anime license may be easier to get than a story or a manga license. Um, just based on what you may have to go through, because it doesn't look like you have to go through much if you're if you're already doing the manga. But you do have to go through a lot. These studios uh, have to be approached in order to make these games and stuff. Um, at first, he says, I did not know all this needed to be done during game supervision meetings. I mentioned in the anime, this design looks nothing like that in the manga. What if we do it like the manga design, which froze the Bandai rep in place? So it seems like this uncharted territory that they don't touch. It seems like manga is really taken seriously. And it's like one of them things that's like, no, we can't do that. Sorry. <laughs> 
we're not doing that it's we can only go like they could probably use certain moves or get licenses to use certain things but unless it's been in an anime or televised or per, i guess produced by some of these studios and they don't have a story or manga license specifically then they cannot go full-fledged and go okay we're gonna put ego and all that stuff and uh there's some more insight here uh in this one i'm not gonna read the whole thing but i think this one was more so talking about how each broadcast has to add, like this, the video games have to be on par with the show. So it says, um, I want to where it specifically says, at every embarking episode, I think with older Naruto can never be a part of the game. So you cannot take something with uh, Sasori. Can I worry? Okay, I'm trying to find where the exact same where he said. Uh, oh, right here. It was at the top. Um, it's a rule that when creating a game, you cannot go past any anime episodes that are currently airing. You don't understand. Don't worry, I'll explain as best as I can. So he, again, he goes on to explain why and all that good stuff. So it's like, that's always been a thing though. I think I knew that already. They can't, that's why there was never, I guess that's why there's not a Xenoverse 3. And that's why that they're just doing deals because there's no anime that they can go off of to complete it. They have to go base. It's literally a rule now that, that they're really saying that they cannot go past any anime episodes. They can't go past it. So if, if the anime stops, video games technically stop i think this is a bad 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 system in my opinion because as you can see we get in these dead drought years where there's nothing and we have to wait for the anime for other things to keep other things to kick, kick up like they have to go from z and super both sparking zero has to go both in order for them to pack in that much content like if they go just by super they won't have that much you know what i'm saying so that's just a little insight of why or why we're not seeing manga content in a, really a lot of these games in general uh just like being put out because it's a lot of obstacles they have to go through and i can see it being more tedious than actually just approaching um you know these studios who kind of are already in, you know in the mix of wanting to get the uh, likeness of the manga characters out there but they have to do it in a certain way that's why there's different versions. That's why there's different versions of uh, transformations. Even in the manga, there's different. There's a different Super Saiyan Blue Evolve version than there is in the anime. So there's literally different versions of these things because they can't really do much. Um, and not really talking about specifically the anime, but just in games in general, they can't do much if there's no anime to revolve around it. And they can't do much with the manga if they have to go through so much. So. Uh, I don't know, that's, like, that's a little insight of why we're not seeing manga characters and if we're ever going to get any manga characters. Let me know if you think that we can still see manga characters in some way, shape, or form if they just attain the license. Maybe there's still some more back-end stuff we don't know about. I don't know. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new and give us more Sparking Zero content. Peace.